hi there welcome back and thank you for tuning in if you're new here you're highly highly welcome my name is lillian and in this video i bring you guys the best news yet again another good news good news from the republic of ghana again another woman from the beautiful mother nature a country packed with ice cream natural beauty by name ghana one of her daughter is at it again she's about to break the guinness book of record for the longest cooking individual for five whole days and her name is Fela abdu Razak, all the way from Tamale, Ghana. She is calling on all of us to support her. We, the good friends of the good people of Ghana, are here and we get her back. There's something about the woman of Ghana and I am going to come back to talk about her. But now let me leave you guys with some clips from the horse's mouth so you get to hear life from this northern beauty by name Faila Abdul Razak. <coughs> Hi, call me Phyla, a Ghanaian. I am here to confirm that the Guinness World Records have given me the green light to embark on the longest cooking marathon. I will be so happy that Ghanaians as a whole come together and support me in all we ways you. you all can for me to achieve this wonderful dream for all of us. On the 1st of January 2024, to fix at the Modim City Hotel in Tamale, I would start and embark on this journey. I am counting on all organizations, NGOs, governments, businessmen and women, the youth, and everyone interested in seeing Ghana on the global map to come out in their numbers and support me from afar, near every corner of Ghana. This is for us. Same way we supported others, this Guinness Book of Records. I am one of your own now, and I know the support is going to be great as I try, try harder to break this record with a huge gap to put Ghana on the global map. I'll be counting on everyone to get in touch with my management so that we can prepare on time to put Ghana global map. Now that you have heard it straight from the horse's mouth, she is kick-starting on the 1st of January of 2024 to the 5th of January of the same month and year. So we are keeping our fingers crossed. But there's something I want to say about the Ghanaian woman and her ice cream strength that a lot of us have not been talking talking about for years i think it's time we do that so now few days ago a woman from ghana by name ifia asantiwa a 33 years old mother of three broke the guinness book of records and did not just break the record she set the record ifia was supposed to sing non-stop for for 105 hours but when she did that she decided to set the record by hitting 126 hours plus she have set it and for someone to take over <laughs> that record has been held by one person for more than 10 years an indian man broke and held that record in the year 2012 and up to date no one else has attempted and succeeded at it until if from ghana came through broke and set <laughs> broke and set kind of like it's making me you know glad to be a woman again i'm always proud of my gender but this time the women from ghana are making it making they are making it make a lot of sense and i personally do not have any excuse to not do a talkathon yes i hope i get your support all right so now back to the woman of ghana now i understand why an American hip hop artist by name Ashanti. Ashanti, if you're familiar with the American music, Ashanti initially we were thinking that she were thinking she has got something to do with Ghana as in her parents. Everybody was like, oh, her parents may have been originated from Ghana and stuff but deeper into her life. Subsequently, when she granted interviews, she was asked about the choice of name, why the name Ashanti. She said there is a tribe in Africa, a tribe in Ghana, in Africa, and the women in that country are making it different. The women are powerful, the women are strong. So unlike other women, any other place in the world, there's a particular tribe in a place called Ghana, 
uh, in a country called Ghana in the western part of Africa and these women are winning so that is what inspired her to bear the name that was why her mother named her Ashanti so now we know why Ghana woman on a do me like this I happy say myself I'm a grandmother and I'm also <laughs> I'm also a mother to a Ghanaian woman. I'm very happy for this. Seriously. Now, it is making a whole lot of sense. We are not just about, you know, pretty face, beautiful calf, and then long hair, and all this effort on my face. So maybe I could actually go for the longest. <laughs> because I don't have any other talent other than to talk and talk and talk. So now... The Ghanaian woman has again proven me right. I'm, I'm glad that recently I did a video about the woman from Ghana, the Ghanaian women, and the strengths and the privilege that they have and the luck they have as women. I am glad to have done that video. And here they are proving me that their environment has been made conducive for them to prosper and, you know, go out there and win. So now we have to support this woman. One thing that I am all out for about these three African women that have been breaking these records is their confidence. Hida Basi was so optimistic. She was so confident that she was going to do it. And then again, if Ya came through with all confidence, like, eh, I want to attempt. And she was like, you could see it in her eyes. Now you can see, you can see this lady now she has the confidence and the beauty now there's something i want to tell us about support and the power of support the power of support is this the moment Fela set her eyes on any celebrity or someone important one important in ghana she is definitely going to be inspired and motivated she will know that giving up she will know that giving up means letting that person down so this is the power of support if you are a company if you have a product if you want to be out there just go out there and sponsor this woman support her come out in mass and give your support let her know that you are behind her and let her know that giving up means she has given up on everyone you get it so we have to be out there to share her up another thing about the woman in ghana yet again is so many things i've always said thank you to the men in ghana for making your environment conducive for your women to prosper so i say let me bring you guys this news okay now another thing i want to let you know is that i don't really like trending videos on my channel but i may be doing trending videos but a few days from now i may be doing a lot of these trending videos in support of this marathon of this cookathon i may be doing a lot of the trending videos i may be doing a lot of the trending videos so please bear with me i'm going to be here giving my support from time to time i'm going to be updating you if possible if i can go to tamale i would love to go because when um if he has started i didn't know on time seriously it's i was busy with stuff out here so i didn't know on time until she was almost done with the record breaking before I heard about it and I rushed down another thing but I have a wish and I wish it's just a wish it doesn't have to be taken seriously I have wished that Fela comes to Accra to do this not because Tamale is not okay or there are no people to support her there but I feel like here is more of the central for so many people to reach from other parts of the country but if since she has already picked Tamale, let us see support. Let everybody, if you are around Tamale, if you are in Accra, she can see you on the internet. Her team will be there. You can, if you are going to Tamale, it's not, it's not a bad thing at all. I wish I can go. If I can go, I would love to go. I would love to go and support. So come together and let us support this Ghana woman. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in another one. Bye.